Okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, rolling. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about what kind of work you did here in Ottawa. Mostly in the last 20 years, I've been a professional bus driver. I worked for Paratranspo and OC Transpo collectively about 10 years in Ottawa. Another five, six in Toronto between TTC and New York region. Um, and again, I never expected, I knew I had some injuries that as I got older would get worse, but I could always fix them on my own with a little knowledge of sports nutrition and kinesiology and stuff. So I wasn't ignorant to, to, to it, but at the same time, I never imagined the severity it would, would, would come. So. Um, a change, a change. I worked the Olympics. I drove a uh, bus for the athletes in Squamish to Whistler and uh, the training runs and all their stuff. So uh, I really fell in love with it out there and I decided to stop in Fort McMurray to go out back out to BC to uh, collect some money and so I wouldn't get into BC uh, with no money in my pocket basically. I wanted to make an investment out there and I could have got into BC Transit at the time. So. Yeah. That's okay. Go ahead. So when you became ill, that yes. was while you were still at Fort McMurray? It was when I was in Fort McMurray. Um, it was, uh, I think I had pain issues with my lower back and neck for, for maybe quite a few years prior to that and I more or less succumbed to it. It was just too much, too often, too frequent. Um, and I had some more diagnosis there with uh, pretty severe disc degeneration, some bulge discs and uh, um, some nerve damage and stuff. Uh, they also think there's some sort of type of fibromyalgia, which is uh, not typical of somebody of my age or gender or body type, but it happens. So there's some ongoing diagnosis still, um, but it hit me hard financially. Uh, Fort McMurray is not a good place to be if you're sick because your insurance won't cover, even if you have short term, long term. It's uh, $2,300 $2, a month for a one bedroom trailer, you know, you just cannot survive up there. Um, I tried to go through the proper channels to get some cooperative housing or some social housing up there. They refused to let me keep Homer, even though I had a document from several doctors stating that he was not just a pet, that he was a bit of an extension of me, uh, a bit of a, a physiotherapy device. Uh, he would give me ambition to get up when I had a few months of being bedridden and uh, with quite a bit of uh, narcotic medicine in me and um, it was it was hard I, uh, um, I met my my current wife there and um, but prior to that I was on my own and Homer was was my only real I had a few people that worked in that industry and you, you, when you deal with unions you have some support but it doesn't last that long so it, it was to have Homer was a, a blessing, it really was. Um, but it was hard when I couldn't afford to do things for him or, or uh, you know, I, I had to make a decision about basically becoming homeless or get rid of my dog. So I bought a motorhome, you know, with my last funds. And that way, you know, I was never homeless. Uh, in that regard, until we got to Ottawa. And I, I did want to come back home to Ottawa because this is where family was and I could network and, and use my knowledge of the city here to, to benefit all of us. Yeah. Can you tell us about that trip back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we had a 1976 24 foot Dodge motorhome. Um, I forget exactly how many kilometers this. It's around 4,000, I think. And. Uh, my wife was pregnant at the time. I think she was about six months pregnant. And yeah, it was actually fun. We, we, both of us are that personality where we don't stress about things we can't control that much. So we took our time. We took about eight days and we stopped here and there. And there's always a couple of anecdotes, a couple of funny stories like parking in Saskatchewan. We had no idea we were 
four feet from a railway track until the morning. So, um, but yeah, we, we had Homer, who's quite a big dog for his size. He's 80 pounds and he, he wants to snuggle beside you and he stretches out, he takes up a lot of room. So it was a squeeze, but it was, it was actually a, a challenge. It was, it was fun at the same time, but it's also, you know what you're getting into when you come back here with no money and you have to start from fresh. And this is my first child, my first wife. It, 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 it's hard on you. You really, you know, you want to be that responsible person and you can't work and that's all you want to do because of your situation. Um, and again with Homer, you know, he, I wouldn't say he was, he wasn't a priority, but with all those family obligations at the time, um, without meeting the people I met in Ottawa, that, because um, we did have to live in a motel for about three, four months, maybe even five. Why don't you tell us about uh, when you got back to Ottawa? When we got back, we did have to apply for some sort of emergency um, shelter situation. Uh, my family has been great to me. I have very 